okay let's do a little experiment here and I, I want to show you something for those who don't believe I want to try to make you understand something so we're gonna type in the word Jesus that everybody have heard this name let's type in the word Jesus and we're gonna do a Bible gateway search on that word There's nothing there in the New Testament. I mean, in the Old Testament. It's all the New Testament. 942 times the New Testament. It's doing a little test here. Now, we're going to take this and type in. Uh, don't even let me. God. acting that way like going slow and shit and so there's nothing in the Old Testament you can see only the New Testament 942 times so now watch this if you type in God then you're gonna get the Old and the New Testament off the chain 4094 times it says God and throughout the Bible and uh, the Old Testament has 2,866 and the New Testament got 1,228 so the Old Testament mentioned God more so we know that there was no Jesus who you know in, in the Old Testament at all we know it was no Ahia you know you know Shishaya you know no one was praying in the name of Jesus in the Old Testament we all know this you know and Jesus was not a God in the Old Testament and we all know none of the prophets or none of the people knew Jesus he is a strange God move to the next one thy God and this is the one Lord the God who saved us from uh, I mean Egypt who brought us out and then look at uh, 305 times thy God the Lord thy God the Lord thy God I am the Lord thy God. He, he wants you to, you know, he wants this to sink in your head. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not take the Lord thy God. And it's over and over and over and over the Lord thy God. You know, it's too many times. It's not saying Jesus. It's not saying Ahia, Yeshia. It's not saying Yahawashai. It's not saying anything like that. Yahusha. It ain't saying none of that crap. Because we know him to be the strange God that God warned us about now we're gonna go to your fathers you know the land of your fathers the God of your fathers is what we're looking for not Jesus Christ because he was what not the God of our fathers you know the Lord God of your fathers so God wanted to let it sink that's why he don't want you to lose the commandments so you don't lose the Lord God of your fathers and it's gonna say that over and over and over again the God of your fathers you know thy God you know the one true Lord right put away the gods which your father served gods but we know that it's only one God I made you go out of Israel, Israel I mean Egypt I swear unto your fathers and this is the God of your fathers and I said I will never break my covenant with you say okay, okay so we're moving on and to the strange God and this is John 1 18 and this is the biblehub.com no one has ever seen God but the one and only son who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the father and has made him known this is, watch this, a strange God. Who himself is God? That's your strange God right here. And then we'll close it out. And then we'll go to strange God. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. It's letting you know Jesus Christ 
from the past is not going to be there in the future. Why? We'll, we'll show you in a minute. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a strange God, and then again, there is no strange God be in thee. There shall no strange God be in thee. And they always saying Christ in us and us in Christ. We are the body of Christ. And God is saying, don't let it be a strange God. You know, there was no strange God among you, says God. Therefore, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. But the other verse said that God, Jesus Christ was God, sit next to God. And so that's the strange God. Y'all should stop being deceived, man, by these pagan gods. And so we're going to go, uh, is, is Jesus Lord and Savior? You can look at the Old Testament. There is no Jesus. There is no strange God. He is not a God sitting next to our God because our Lord and Savior, God, says that there is none beside him. He cannot possibly be. Just use your common sense. You know, Malachi 3, 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. There can never be a new covenant. All of y'all Christians are deceived. Y'all are going to burn up and go to hell. You know, common sense should scream to you that nobody was calling Jesus Lord and Savior back then. Not our fathers. Neither was God. You know, and nobody should be calling him that now because God don't change. There was no strange God besides God. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. It ain't the Lord God and the Lord Jesus. The Lord our God is one. The Lord is one. That is the commandment to hear, O Israel. The nations ain't going to listen to it. Counting on you. Mark 12, 28. Now one of the scribes have come up and heard their debate. Noticing how well Jesus had answered them, he asked him, which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus replied, this is the most important. Hear, O Israel. Old Testament. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is one Lord. Who's God? Christ is God. The real Christ. The real Jesus. You know, the real Yahweh Shai. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. You don't have any room for Jesus Christ then, or anyone else, when you loving God like that. It's just common damn sense. Isaiah 43, 11. And I, even I, am the Lord. The Lord your God, not the strange God. And besides me, there is no Savior. How can there be Jesus as a Savior besides God, when God said he wasn't there and he don't change? God is never going to put a savior beside you guys been deceived and you know it. And then in the end, Jesus Christ is going to tell y'all, Matthew 7, 22, I said it many times before, many will say to me that day, Lord Jesus, Lord God, Lord, you calling him Lord and he not. He is just a prophet. He is just a messenger. He is just a man. Have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils, in thy name done many wonderful works. And then Jesus will profess unto them, He never knew them. Go to hell, depart from me, you lawless. The ones who do not want to obey, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. You know, and it's easy to understand this. Psalms 81 8. Hear, O my people, I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in you. Neither shalt thou worship any strange gods. So God was already aware that they was going to pump this Jesus Christ stuff in the Old Testament. He had warned you a billion times. And he told y'all, Jesus told y'all, to obey the commandments or you won't enter into eternal life. 2 Corinthians 1, number 5. For as the suffering of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Christ. So God said, it shouldn't be no strange God in you. Or you in some strange God. Hosea 14, 1. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. Not Christ. The Lord thy God. For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Wake the fuck up and get out of the damn church. Y'all going to go to hell. Worshiping the false deity. The sun God. He said. 
I am the morning star right and then the Bible says in Revelation there was a mother or a virgin clothed with the Sun and everything that refers to Christ is about the Sun and that, and they made him a Sun God next to God and that is polytheism you're worshiping multiple gods and God told you no so anybody preaching the Father the Son the Holy Spirit the Godhead and any of that Trinity shit or God and the Son of God you all going to fucking hell that is falsehood it is the doctrines of men and God never promoted that shit snap out of it before y'all burn we only got seconds left let's wrap the news